hit him, obviously, you know, coming off a couple of difficult losses. Uh, what would you say are the biggest issues maybe for the linebackers that need to get fixed going into Tulane this week? Um, biggest issues, I would say probably um, our communication. Um, sometimes we'll probably be locked in, too locked in on the play, and we'll forget to communicate with other linebackers or the safety. So that's just little things we got to work on. Tatum, how much did it hurt not having Eric Mitchell on the field for about the last quarter and a half of that game against Memphis? Um, I wouldn't say it hurt it because I trust all of, I trust Eric Mitchell, Jeremiah, and Eric Gilliard. So I know it's like when one guy goes down, the next guy can step up and it shouldn't be no drop off. And that goes the same for me. So it hurt it knowing that he was hurt, but I had to trust Jeremiah and I, me and him talk together because we're roommates and we have to get things going. Tatum, uh, how are things different for you this year? Obviously, last year you were the true freshman. You were playing a little bit, but not a whole lot. You're taking on a much bigger role this year. How different do you feel now in your second year here at UCF? Oh, I feel real different. I'm not going to lie to you. Um, I wouldn't say I'm used to it yet. I'm still getting acclimated to like crowd and everything, even though it's not the same, but it's just a blessing. It's way different, making more plays and being able to showcase my talent. It's good, it's great. Tatum, obviously you guys were out. We're, we're without Eric Gilliard, but that you got your first career start. How was that to be in a starting position? I know you got a lot of playing time as a freshman and, and even before you started, but to make your first start, what was that like for you? Um, It was really a blessing, to be honest. Like before the game, I just sat on the field just look at the stadium, the people coming in, and I was just like, it's here. You can't run away from it. You got to do it. It was a blessing. It felt great. Tatum, what's been the message between the players this week as you guys kind of look to bounce back to those two losses? Um, the message is really just bounce back. So what? Now what? Is what we always talk about. So. As in the past, if you're still worried about the past, then you won't go nowhere. So right now we're on two lane. We forgot about that. We didn't forget about it. It still hurt, hurt us, but it make our drive a lot more. Make us work harder in practice and take things a lot more serious. We know what we got to do, and that's what we work on in practice. Tatum, how has your time at Central High School shaped the player and the man you are today? Oh, uh, at Central High School, it was tough, so we used to have morning workouts just like UCF, hard workouts, track, and the coaches was always tough on us. So when I came here, I already knew, like, I was acclimated to, I already knew how things would go. I wasn't, I would come here to think I was going to get bait. I actually like hard coaching, so it felt, it was really the same, to be honest. Hey, when did you uh, find out that you would be getting that starting nod? And you talked about like pregame, how you were kind of just taking it in. But if you found, if you know, if you found out before the game started, like the day before, two days before, were those days leading up to the game kind of nerve wracking as well? Kind of, you know, anticipating what was going to go go, go ha happen? Um, nah, it, not really. I found out I was starting like on Tuesday because that was when we started our first um, gear practice. So I, that's when I found out. So it wasn't really nerve wracking at all, to be honest. It just get more anxious, like game day. When we leave the hotel, we're on the way to see the stadium. Like it's here. It's finally, this is what I dreamed of. So. Tatum, what, what has this week been like? Just, you know, obviously, you know, coming off those losses, which nobody wants. Uh, have any players, like, you know, stepped up and talked to the team? What kind of leadership are you seeing from, from your side of the ball? Um, I've seen leadership on both sides of the ball, to be honest. Win or loss, the players still talk to us, saying we got to do better. There's a lot of things we got to work on. Win or loss. So it's really, I wouldn't say it's a lot more serious now because this not, we know we can do better and we know how good we are. So it's just, it's like kind of disappointing. Like we like, we can do better than this. So it's really like they take control and we just keep things going. Tatum, as you guys focus on Tulane, what are you seeing for the Green Wave, and, and what are you guys looking forward to doing on Saturday? Um, really, we treat 
every team the same. We take every team serious because we know we're going to get every team's best. Everybody wants to beat UCF. So we're just going in with the mindset that we got to do better. We got to keep our foot on their neck. So this first half, we always start off, I wouldn't say great, but we all start off good. And the second half, we just kind of take it down. So now that we know we have to keep it on their neck the whole game, that's what we got to do now. So. Um, after I know dealing with the loss is one thing, but then have you had a chance to process that you had five solo tackles and six assists, like 11 on the game? Have you had a chance to process that? And like, what's the first thing that goes through your head? Um, no, I really haven't thought about that yet. I'm not going to lie to you. <laughs> it's, um, my mom and dad, they're calling me like, I feel like I wouldn't say I've had a great game. Because it's a lot of things I messed up on. It's a lot of things that I know I should have did. I should have did better. That could have helped the defense out a lot more. So I'm not really focused on what I did. I'm focused on what I could have had, what I could have done. So that's really what my main thing is. But Tatum, now that you've gone through your first start and you did have that kind of game where at least, at least you were very productive. Uh, how does that change maybe your confidence level, if you know, if at all, going forward, knowing you can really do it at a high level as as a starter? Um, uh, I always have the mindset like this game I have to do better than what I did last game. So I had five solo tackles. Now I'm trying to get six or seven. So I'm just trying to beat the person I was last week. So that's every week to be honest. I'm just trying to get better every day. Tatum, you talked about that difference between the first half and then the second half of games, especially over the last two two games. What do you guys have to do in that second half, I guess, to kind of to, to, to continue that process that you guys have started out games with? Um, what do we have to do is really just remain focused. Some guys go down. Some new guys, young guys, got to step up. Man. They can't be no jump offs. That goes with me, with Eric Gilliard. It goes with everybody from secondary to the D-line. We just got to keep going. We all got to play the same. There shouldn't be no roller coaster. We all got to keep going up.